G'day, my name is John Barry. In this video tutorial for the 48 hour film project, I'm going to show you some of the first steps that you will want to be aware of when using the Adobe Pro Video tool. So I'm going to start with Prelude. And Prelude is an application, if you're not familiar with it, that helps to data wrangle, so to speak. If you've got footage that's coming off of a card or a hard drive and you want to do a backup or if you want to do a transcode step then this would be the way that I recommend you go about doing it. Once you've started Prelude you can create a new project. I've already begun one here and I've already got some footage sitting inside the little project panel but I'm going to show you how to start. So go to the ingest button up in the top right and then when you get this ingest uh, user interface find the hard drive that the media is on. So once you find the location uh, I'm going to go into this folder here and look for my Panasonic GH4 4K test footage. So all this me media here is being recorded at 4K. I'm not going to hand it in at 4K and because it's the 48 hour film project I'm not going to stress too hard about actually handing in a 4K file. I know that I've only got 48 hours to do this, I just want to get a quick turnaround, make the most of a short amount of time. So. The other thing I want to do by being able to do that is I'm just going to select all of these. I might even just hit check all down the bottom here. And now that they're all selected, I'm going to begin a transcode process. For the PC, because we don't have ProRes as an export uh, option, I've spoken to the guys at 48 and they're happy to have a deliverable in a DNX HD MXF OP1A format. This is also available on the Mac, although on the Mac you can go in and you can configure one of these for ProRes. Now in order to do that you will have to go into Adobe Media Encoder and then come up with a QuickTime setting that uses the ProRes format and then when you go into the listing under transcode it will be in the list that you've got uh, as part of the top list there in the customized version. Now because I'm on a PC I'm going to stick with the DNX HD MXF OP1A and the preset that we've all decided that everyone should be using for this is the DNX 120 1080p 25 so that's the 25 frames per second which is part of the standard that you need to be working at now the second tick box here for destination 01, if I tick this, I'm now going to be copying all of the original material to this particular location here. So I've gone and navigated in and browsed for a location and created a folder called this 48 hour film project Melbourne original footage native and that's where it's going to go. Going back up to the top here to the primary destination, I've set up another folder for transcoded footage. So I'm doing this so then I can, if I need to, crop in or zoom in to the footage. Even though I'm working in a 1080 timeline, I may want to use and leverage the 4K material that I've actually got. If I need to do that, then I'll go out and I'll actually find the clip that I want to do this to and then import that at the 4K and then go and replace it in the timeline. So with everything selected with the tick box here, we hit ingest and it performs the transcode in the background. Now I'm not going to do it to everything just because I want to save time here and show you how this works. I will do it to just this color bars here and hit the ingest button. Okay, let's take a double look here and we'll see if this location does. Okay, so it's under assets. I've moved everything. So transcoded footage that's where I want the transcode step and I'm doing that first because the first step is what you start to work with as far as the footage goes inside of Prelude and then you pass it on to Premiere. The destination here I need to um, change that as well and original footage native that's where it's going to go. Okay we hit ingest and then you can see down the bottom here it's actually performing the ingest and that means the transcode. It's already opened Adobe Media Encoder in the background and here's Adobe Media Encoder doing its thing and I might just flip these to each other's sides and you can see that while this is happening um, this bar is growing as well. So I just let that process finish and as you go through one clip at a time 
it's going to show up the clip and then continue the listing and keep going that way. Double click on the clip and then from in here you can either start adding comments at points in time and then uh, play that through and while it's still selected you can then go and hit from the inspector out and then you've got the range for where that's relevant. Once you do have all of this media in here and you're working with it, you can see I've got a couple of shots in here where I've got some different um, comments going on. Now what's cool about using the Adobe system is that when you do pass this on, those little um, comments that you've added in are searchable within Premiere Pro. The quickest way to get all this over is to select all, right click and then hit send to Premiere Pro. I don't have Premiere open at the moment, but I will launch it now. And then the project that I'm working with, when I hit that send to Premiere Pro, it will put it inside of the project that I have open. I've already got my project that I've started previously. And from here, let's just go to, uh, on the outside here, back to Prelude, select all, send to Premiere Pro, go back to Premiere Pro and you'll see that it's already got highlighted that clip that I just had imported or ingested and then the transcoded footage folder as well which has got all the other clips inside. So if I double click on this clip you can see the add comments there and if I open up any of the footage here that's got the transcoded footage and there are the clips in there, I've actually got these clips sitting inside this project already back over in Prelude, what I'll do is I'll just take a quick look at some of the options that I'm looking for here. So two cars cross over, that's a particular description of the footage at that point in time. I do want to, when I'm editing, look out for those particular items. So if I type in the word two, it limits down the footage to these two clips. Like I said, I'd already imported this stuff uh, once before. So once I open this up, I can see that the two cars crossover is over there. And then I can make my in and out points, and then I can add that into the project like so. So it's just a, a nice way to start organising the material.